So, there are some cool tricks that give you better graphics and higher refresh rates than currently possible on the Quest 2. However, if you only do this, you will get frame drops in some heavy games. So to avoid that, I will show you a third trick in this video that allows you to increase performance so your Quest 2 can handle that graphical bump better. Hi everyone, Kat here and today I'll show you how to make your gameplay absolutely beautiful and crisp. This is an advanced tips video for the Quest 2. If you're interested in some beginner tips and tricks first, then watch my previous video. If you've already seen it, then thank you so much for your support. That video has been received well and uh, I just appreciate it so, so much. If you like more VR content like this though, consider subscribing if you haven't yet as it will help support the channel a lot. And now, join me beyond reality. Of course I've tested this out and I can confirm that it works or else I wouldn't make this video. But here's some proof. On the left side you can see the default graphic settings of the Quest 2. On the right side, you can see the increased resolution. At first glance, you'll probably be like, Cass, I don't see anything, but let me zoom in now and now you can see it makes such a difference. I don't know, I find it strangely exciting. <laughs> now also adds increased frame rate and improved performance and it's if you don't know what I'm talking about, let me give you some context. Right now, you can only turn on 90Hz mode for certain Oculus apps like Home Environment and Oculus Browser. It does not work for games and apps yet. I know, pretty boring, but with this method, it does. So we're going to talk about how to do this in just a bit, but before we dive into that, please keep in mind that if you want to do this, it does impact your headset, like it will use more battery power, it might get hotter, and it might cause performance issues. So if you want to try this, it is at your own risk, you might get motion sick, but <laughs> I have tried what I did in this video and it has worked out for me so far. Everything mentioned in this video is also a tool publicly available to all developers. I actually got them from the official Oculus developer documentation, so it should be fine. Thankfully, it is also easy to get the headset back to the default state as everything that we are changing does not persist after a reboot. So this means if you reboot your headset, all settings are put back to default. So if something goes wrong, you just need to uh, reboot your headset. Now, let's get started with the fun stuff. Mm -hmm. Cheers, everyone. So, to do this, the easiest method would be to use SideQuest. If you don't know how to use SideQuest, then check out my video that I linked below, where I go over how to set up SideQuest in an easy to understand way. You just need to follow the steps until you're able to connect your headset. If you've already done it before on Quest 1, there is no need to do it again. So once you've done that, launch SideQuest on your computer. Then connect your Oculus Quest 2 with a USB cable to your computer. You can also use the provided USB-C to USB-C cable from in the box. Wait until you get this nice green icon at the top left in SideQuest because that means that your Oculus Quest is connected successfully. Now SideQuest has a handy built-in user interface that allows you to run ADB commands. ADB stands for Android Debug Bridge, which is basically a tool that developers use to install and uh, debug code on Android devices. The Quest, if you didn't know yet, works on Android. So open that user interface by clicking this icon at the top right, then click custom command. Here we will fill in the commands that allows us to change the settings. Now, Oculus provides a couple of commands, which are pieces of code that developers can use to debug their games and apps. And I will provide every code that I mentioned in the description for your convenience, so you only need to copy and paste it. So to increase resolution, we will use this command. What this setting does, it overrides the default texture width and height. If you set this number to one that's higher than the default, then some in-game textures will render at a higher quality, so you'll get better graphics in the game. Now I'm setting this to high, but you can 
and set it to lower too if you're curious to know what that looks like i can tell you it looks like shit though the numbers here and uh, here can be customized a little but i'll explain that in just a bit so copy and paste this line in the text field and click run command it will say command completed if it was successful then to increase refresh rate we will use this code the end says 90 because we want to change this to 90 hertz so if you want to change it back to 72 put 72 here so if you set this all games and apps will try to use a refresh rate of 90. now you may be thinking if this also works if you type 120 hertz unfortunately it does not i tried it and it looks like oculus entirely blocks that and it will just default to 72 hertz unfortunately this is probably because the quest 2 is just not able to handle that okay now we've increased resolution and refresh rate but if you only set these two settings you may notice frame drops in the headset not with everything but some games may not be playable at all so to help with that we can also increase the cpu and gpu level for that we will use this command this command can be set from 0 to 4. Now I do have to say many games already have this set. Most games are already running at level 3 or sometimes even 4 already. I checked this with Beat Saber and The Walking Dead Saint and Sinners on default settings and both were already running on CPU level 4 and GPU level 3. I'm using Oculus Developer Hub by the way to check this, so this uh, command will probably not make a big difference in games where this is already set to high, but even in Beat Saber and Saint and Sinners I noticed that this does help when you play in higher resolution, and I think it's pretty awesome. So copy and paste that code and run it, and that was the last of the commands. You can now put on your headset and have fun with it. But. Before you do that and exit this video already, watch this part too because you can increase that texture setting even further or maybe you want to set it lower because some games are not running well on that setting. So if you go back to side quests, you can click on this icon for DeFi settings and tools. If you scroll down here, you can see that the side quest developer also provided the same settings, but he made buttons for it. So you only need to click these buttons to change it. I showed you how to do this manually as it just provides you much more freedom. In here, you can only choose these numbers and settings. And these settings are mostly made for quest one and oculus go even so if you want to try out different texture sizes or cpu levels you won't be able to do that here but with the method that i showed you you can i got you here though because here you can see what else you can try out like 3072 is the highest setting here which you can try as well i noticed though that this is a little bit too high and that is why i'm recommending a lower setting like it works okay with beat saber but you will see frame drops in other more heavy games still i think it's pretty cool to look at how crisp everything can look of course this isn't what oculus intended for the quest 2 so please take that into account but remember Remember, these changes will reset if you reboot your headset which is a good thing honestly as it protects us from completely messing up our headsets this is why i personally think while this is super cool to look at i do believe that uh, it's not worth doing it every time you start your headset i mean these changes are significant if you look really closely but if you are playing a game very actively you may not notice it as much but it is cool to have the option and i do recommend to try it out let me know if you're going to try this out and if so what do you think of it and will you keep using it let me know in the comments below if you got more time help support the channel by watching more videos on the screen right now stay healthy and i hope to see you in the next a special thanks goes to all our champions especially these patrons down below and as always vr on